I'm Nana Cherry. I'm here to talk about the song that I wish that I wrote, which is Across 110th Street by Bobby Womack. I chose this song because of how it makes me feel. The magic of that kind of song, and in particular this, this song, is that it gives me like a, a full picture. Like as soon as I hear it, I'm there. You know, I'm on 110th Street. I can see it, I can feel it. I think it's a real testimony of that era. I mean, I guess it was written in the, in the 70s. I lived here a lot in that era. I have some really kind of deep, very visual memories, you know, of how, it, how New York felt in that time. So it's kind of recorded history in a way. And I think that's, to me, that's a, a, a wonderful, very powerful thing. I was the first brother of five Doing whatever I had to do to survive I mean, I guess I first heard of Bobby Womack kind of in my surrounding world. Like, I don't think I was conscious of who I was listening to, but I was hearing this, the sound of Bobby Womack. I mean, I, I, I was probably maybe five or six, you know, because I know my parents used to play his music. Maybe that's why the sound of that record or that song evokes something, you know, very deeply on the inside because it was like very much a tapestry of my environment. And we used to, for instance, drive up to visit family sometimes on weekends in Harlem. And I can really remember just the, how the streets looked, you know, and how it felt. You know, there were a lot of things in the air that I think is a, a child that I was very receptive to, but I didn't necessarily know what all of those things really were, you know, that I feel them when I hear a song like 110th Street, you know? Across 110th Street, trying to catch a woman that's weak. I feel like I learned from a song like, uh, like this. I would like to get better at kind of just describing, you know, talking about a street or this is what's happening in the house right now. There's a person in that room doing this and there's someone over there, like storytelling. Maybe I don't think, like, I wish I wrote it because I don't think I ever could, obviously, but I have a kind of relationship with it and it has a meaning and it's a kind of, it's a kind of a weird teacher for me, that song. Take my advice and see the live or die. You got to be strong if you want to survive. The family. You know what makes it classic? is the fact that it's timeless. And so it doesn't matter when it was made or, you know, it's like, it just will always stand the legs of time. So that's it. 